Yard, garage, and tag sales, the traditional way to turn clutter into cash. But there are those of us, like me, who aren't fond of haggling for pennies at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. And there are things like building materials that are hard to sell or even give away. So what's a clutter clearer to do? Obviously, one solution is selling stuff online with individual ads at sites like Craigslist or eBay, or using a site like FreeCycle to give that stuff away. But there are other places that might want your hard-to-get-rid-of stuff. For example, got building supplies, appliances, maybe furniture? Habitat for Humanity Restore may take them. Got a mattress that's still in good shape? Check with local homeless shelters. Got towels or linens that are too ratty for the Salvation Army or Goodwill? Local animal shelters might want those. Got paint? If it's lead and mercury free, another thing for Habitat for Humanity. There are also clothing specific charities. This one, for example, called Souls for Souls, is looking for your old shoes to help those in poverty all over the world. If it's books, you've got lots of choices. You can swap for other books at sites like paperbackswap.com, share books at bookcrossing.com, or donate them to specific groups like soldiers or prisoners. Got small appliances? That's another thing your local homeless shelter might be looking for. If you can't sell that old cell, Verizon can refurbish it for a victim of domestic violence. There are other electronics charities as well. Now, when you do donate to registered charities, don't forget your tax deduction. You can find valuation assistance online at the Goodwill and Salvation Army sites. When it comes to clearing clutter, where there's a will, there's the web. <laughs> Need more links and information? I've got them waiting for you at MoneyTalksNews.com. Just do a search for cleaning. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.